Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean... If you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. All right. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. Hang in there, girl. Good girl. There you go. There's a girl. All right, girl. Hey, mister. Hello there. That's a girl. There. You coming on, girl? You'll be okay. Here, fella. Morning. Hope you're all doing all right. Good morning. We're getting there, ain't we? You're doing well. Buddy! Morning. Good girl. We've got you now, you piece of shit! I want his skill!
You're good, girl. Who's a good horse? Okay. Blow it. Ain't you special. Who's a good girl? Hey. Nice, Philly. Well done, lady. Ain't you fine? That's a girl. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. In charge here. No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Get the hell out of here! This land belongs to me now! Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner! you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. 
Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> you gonna mount up or what? Follow me. West. West? Oh, no, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. Well, now, where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place, and you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Get her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? 
What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? Oui. You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Let's get! Keep going, girl. You're okay. Well, well. Me again. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! <laughs> I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slope. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums?
You're a good filly. There you go. Good girl. Keep coming on, girl. There. You'll be okay. That's a girl. Mister? Susan, Josan. What a man can go see John Hound to like. Kay, the king. Well, all right. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind Saint Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. I would head along that way. Saint Saturnine. Enjoy the fight. I think they might be starting soon. Good morning. Joe Sun. Go on, girl. There you go. Ooh. 
Who's a good horse? Who's a good girl? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. I love a surprise. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, turns out. you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of them. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. Then you like that? Of course not. So? So? Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Stay on your feet, you hear? No, Wolf! Kill that bastard! <laughs> Pretend he's Micah! Stupid little wolf! Don't black out just yet! Fight the nuts! Oh, Wolf! The Redskins! Try and stay on your feet, you hear? <laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf! Gotta get you the hell out of here! Hey! Lone Wolf! Move! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? 
I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or give him some kind of understanding of what his life was really all about. Yeah? That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. So... Nor me. And Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? What's None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those were Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John! Charles! <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. 